Yo guys, Arakuni Damola here again and today I'm going to be sharing with you uh, the things that I did from last week up until now, alright, and that has one, helped to improve my knowledge about YouTube, two, helped to increase my watch hours, thereby moving me a little bit closer to reaching that 4,000 watch hours, okay? And um, of course, today is Friday, okay? Today is Friday, and tomorrow is Saturday, and that's the day that I'm supposed to be publishing this video to YouTube. Now, you might be wondering why am I just recording this video? Now, the reason is because um, I've been a little bit uh, busy, you know, throughout the week. I mean, super busy. I've been one trying to close these clients, all right? A, a website gig that um, someone uh, recommended um, me for. And I've been trying to work, you know, to make sure that I get this particular client. And two, I made a payment for uh, two master classes, all right? I mean, I invested close to uh, 90,000 Naira for these master classes. And I've not been watching the videos i've not been learning and all so i needed to you know uh get myself acquainted to those videos uh in the master classes and had to watch all of them and as i was watching of course i was applying because if you know me very well you know that i believe in that old age statement that knowledge without application is meaningless so as i was watching i was applying and uh of course that helped me to you know be able to create my new faceless youtube channel and i'm going to be talking about this faceless youtube channel in another video maybe not now maybe after 30 days or maybe after 90 days of you know trying to push out consistent content to that particular channel okay but one good thing is that as i was watching all of these videos and of course researching as a normal youtuber should be doing all right if you remember that in the last video i walked you through a lot of things that you should do as a youtuber that is going to help you get to that uh 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours today i'm going to be sharing three things that i i learned you know in the course of the week and that i've applied and that have been helping me to see tiny tiny result on my channel and the first one right there is that i got improved on my cap cut editing now if i was 65 to maybe 70 percent before i began to watch those videos all right and i began to make new research about you know editing i think i would gladly say that i've improved you know by 80 to 85 percent all right with cap cuts now most of the things i didn't know about cap cuts i was able to learn from this one master class all right uh by this um guy called jaffa now this is about the second time i'm going to be buying his course all right and um i can gladly tell you that this dude is very good super good and i've been able to learn a lot from him watching his videos taking his master classes and to be honest i have exploded all of the things that i know before about cap code now i'm super super good i don't want to say that i'm 100 percent but i know that i'm at least 80 to 85 percent good with cap code than i uh i previously was now I've, i brought that power editing into my faceless youtube channel and that has been blowing my mind and i can't way to publish my first video and uh, and begin to see the reactions of people okay that's that and um of course i i'm going to be applying going forward on my channel and i'm sure that it's going to help me you know even double my watch time hours because the better you're editing the uh the more uh people stay glued to your youtube channel and the more they stay glued to your channel the more your watch time hours increases all right that's one now the second one right there okay is that i have upped my youtube seo skills okay before now i know about seo all right but i only know seo towards blogging okay because i am a webmaster i'm a blogger okay and i know how to actually uh 
do SEO, optimize search engine for blogs, okay, but not YouTube. Now, I, I, of course, I've been using the idea for blogging SEO, you know, in my YouTube channel journey, and it has worked, all right. But, you know, because of the research that the new research that I've been doing, you know, through uh, these master classes and, you know, personal research as well, because again, as a YouTuber, you need to be a lifelong learner. And to be a lifelong learner, you have to constantly research, you have to constantly browse and search, you know, things regarding YouTube. Okay, and the best places that I've been going to is ChatGPT and Meta AI, and of course, I do uh, manual research as well, and I've been learning a whole lot of things, and of course, through these researches, I've been able to improve my YouTube SEO knowledge, and of course, I've been trying to apply it to some of my previous videos, and hopefully, I believe that it's going to help my channel going forward. All right, I, I won't know now, but by next week when I come again with the third episode, I'll be able to share uh, what I have, you know, been able to improve on with the YouTube SEO that I've been learning. Now, the third one, which is about the last one, is that I've learned to always follow my mind. Now, this is very, very important, okay, because now I lost about 200 watch hours, all right? Um, that's last week. Now, before last week, two weeks ago, I one of my videos was taken down due to copyright, all right, by um, Shutterstock, and um, that was fine. I think that video in less than a week of publishing it had already gotten me about 70 watch hours okay and i knew that this video the way it was going it was going to blow up my channel right because i had already gotten to about 2500 views in one week and 70 watch hours i knew it was going to blow up my channel but all of a sudden the video was taken down due to copyright and now i have another video where i was talking about shutter stock not necessarily shutter stock i was talking about another thing entirely but shutter stock was one of the things that i was showing in that video and i was having you know that mind to remove that shutter stock from my thumbnail all right but because I, I i mean i was that i was like oh i didn't mention i, I didn't put shutter stock in the title so they might probably not you know get to that particular video okay but lo and behold last week i got another message from youtube and i got another strike making it two strikes that i've gotten now i'm just praying to god and hoping and praying that um i won't get that third strike because after that third strike my channel is gone and i'm just praying that my channel will not go because i'm putting my sweat and blood to this channel okay and uh of course i got that strike and i lost more than 200 um watch hours that's super crazy right 200 watch hours right there and now i had to start again you know from you know trying to build my watch hours okay so from today ends for i'm going to be following my mind anything that i think about about youtube about my channel and i think about it i'm going to take action straight up all right so that's it now that that is out of the way i'm going to uh get back to my office and i will begin to show you um the improvements that i got from my channel they are tiny bits in very tiny tiny uh improvements right there but i'm happy to show you now let's go back to my laptop all right guys i'm back at my office and i'm right here on my laptop okay so if you remember in the last episode i was at 54.6 k views and 1.9 k watch time hours and 1.5k subscribers that's under lifetime all right and uh, as at last week i was at 1471 subscribers okay uh what else what else what else i think that's about it right now this week i am now at 56.8k views and 2.0 watch time hours and i remain at 1.5k subscribers and of course i grew to 1483 subscribers right on the lifetime and i think that was about what i showed you 
the last time now of course i ought to have grown past this 2.0 if i hadn't lost that 200 plus um watch time hours i talked i talked about earlier but then it's fine so uh if i were to move from lifetime and i go to say uh 30 days all right this is what you will see so in 30 days i've gotten about 10.1 uh k views and uh 325 point seven watch time hours and i got 48 subscribers in 30 days all right so this is how i have been going all right uh and that's because i have not been posting a lot of videos now i have about two videos um from last week up until this week i ought to post a video on monday which i did not post because of the busy schedule that i've had which i also talked about earlier in this video uh, so yeah in the last 30 days this is what uh, we are currently seeing in my dashboard now if I were to streamline it to uh, seven days you see that I have gotten about 2.2 K views and 73 watch time hours okay with just one video posted in June or on June 8 2024 okay so that's about it uh guys in the next episode i think i'm going to also try to dig a little bit further and you know tell you um some tips to uh actually improving your watch time hours all right guys that's it for this video if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please do well to hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notification so that when next i post new videos like this one youtube will do well to notify you first bye for now i'm going to see you in the next video